Okay, so these kids are age three to five, they're Head Start age, and um, we're just talking to them all day, going throughout the day, talking Cheyenne to them, and um, the fact that they're not reading, I believe is actually a benefit, because although it helps when you're learning a language to um, have the written language, it's also a crutch. And so just being able to talk with them and teach the language in action rather than just in pen and paper, I believe is way more beneficial because they're using the language. And, you know, maybe they might learn 20 words, but they're actually using it every day and going through their day using the language. And so um, I was, I've worked in the Head Start classroom before and had great um, uh, success, but I had a whole school year, <laughs> and so this was a three-week pilot program, and um, still though, with their pre and post tests, I was amazed at how much they were able to learn in that short amount of time, and introducing language doesn't only help them learn the language, it also helps their minds to open and learn better in all areas. We, um, we've we kept the classes separate, so that class was learning Arapaho the whole time, and this class is learning Cheyenne. So some of the times when I'll say, okay, now say it in Cheyenne, they'll say, Cheyenne. <laughs> so, but they're learning, and so that's, you know, the important part. Okay, um, what we're doing on this side of the room is trying to incorporate as much Arapaho language as possible into their daily routine. Okay, from eating, where they have to ask for their utensils, we pray using some words in Arapaho, and then we'll, we'll eat, vipahi, and then I'll quiz them. Um, we've been doing counting, so every time we line up to do something, like go outside or go wash our hands before we eat, then we count each kid so that they'll learn how to count. And uh, colors, we did a scavenger hunt this morning for colors. And something that we've done, which I found was really interesting, is uh, the 10 images that we have on the wall, um, they were able to say all the words. That was interesting because I would only go through it one time a day. When we're sitting here doing the lesson, um, they are looking at the picture and touching it, and so their focus is on the images. And it surprised me how quickly they got that one. This is our seventh day of it. So three weeks sounds like a long time, but we've only been going three days a week. So it's more like seven days. And they've picked up a lot of language in seven days. Mahelo e Gray, Mahelo e Terra, Ha ho, Mahelo, for this misses. By his hands we all misses. Ha ho, Mahelo, for this day we go go Mahelo. Sonnet. The sonnet. Good. Yes, I did it. Three little pigs. Yay. 
Philadelphia. Yeah. That's how we Ooh. Bye. Yawson. Jenna. Jesse. Niece. Nessa. Okay, lyric guess. This side. Ooh, play again. She didn't catch you. Okay. We got a point. That's yeah. Okay. Put him behind your back and hide him again. Hey, do that. Thank you. Okay. Jay, you're next. Uh, okay. Yeah. To guess. Okay, ready? Sing for him. Natcha Anna. Natcha Anna. God, God, I think, you know, they're smart kids, and they pick it up quick, okay? Right now, a lot of these kids know more Arapaho than a lot of the adults do, okay? And that's impressive to me, okay? Um, I could bring some adults here that probably don't know these words, and if kids, little kids can learn, adults can learn, too, and reinforce the language pilot program, but if we could make this a permanent thing, they would learn a lot more. And again, it's like, let's reinforce it at home. We need our adults to learn also.